At this laboratory in Bristol, they're busy making science fiction a reality. Their aim, to make these bionic arms for children available on the NHS. Being able to open doors, being able to hold a hairbrush or a toothbrush affects every aspect of our life. Previously, prosthetics like this would have cost tens of thousands of pounds and taken months to create, unsuitable for growing children. But these custom-built, lightweight models are made quickly by 3D printers at a fraction of the cost. We wanted to create a bionic technology that was very advanced but also available um, democratically to the masses. We have created the most affordable multi-grip bionic hand. So it's at a price point that is affordable enough for NHS. Healthcare. When I was little, meningitis nearly killed me, but I fought back and I won. 13 year old Tilly from Newcastle is one of the children taking part in the clinical trials. There's sensors on the inside, and when I squeeze my muscles, it closes it, and when I flex my muscles, it opens it. Her 3D printed bionic arms have given her physical dexterity and much more. I feel like they've made me so much more confident. I used to go outside and I found myself trying to hide the fact that I had no hands. But obviously it makes it a lot more fun and interesting doing it with these hands. I can also, they help me to multitask. Like I was at the cinema the other day and I was able to hold a tub of popcorn and then hand over my ticket in the other hand. The firm hopes this technology could be available for children on the NHS from as early as next year. Rebecca Barry, ITV News.